I'm really looking forward to this fight. Two really good fighters, man. Yeah. Both 2-0 and here. Nick out of Nostos, Danny out of Recon. Two very great gyms going at it here. Yep. Um, two heavy grapplers. Danny with more of a wrestling pedigree here. You know, he was a 2019 state champion wrestler, four-time main state champion. Yeah, Nick Eldridge is uh, a little bit older. Four years his senior. Yeah, Nick. Nick's a grinder, and he's he's had a, some success in the cage. And very impressive with his first two fights. Let's go to Pete Simbor. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is scheduled for three rounds in the featherweight division and features two unbeaten fighters against one another. Someone's O must go. I knew he was going to say Introducing that. first, fighting out of the blue corner to my right. He comes to us representing Team Recon. His record, perfect. Two wins, zero defeats. Fighting out of Wales, Maine, Danny Buto. And his opponent, standing directly across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my left. He comes to us representing Team Nostos. His record, perfect. Two wins, zero defeats. Fighting out of New Durham, New Hampshire, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Eldridge. Three rounds, featherweights. All right, Juliano, let's, let's have it. Is this going over? What's the over and under in rounds? Um, I say two, two, two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. That's the over and under. I'll, I'll, take, the, I'll take the over. Say this is the I'll first one. Under, yeah. Go to a decision. You won last time. <laughs> Let's see who shoots first. Oh, Danny with a head kick. Uh, that was, I think it was a body kick. Body kick. But yeah, through his left. Nixon. Nick Eldridge, good job slipping under those hands. Nick with a guillotine here. Danny knows how to handle it. He doesn't want to, he's not letting that Nick's right leg come around. He's shutting down that right leg because he knows he doesn't want to get that uh, like he just oh. did right there. I think he might have that. I can't. You think so? I don't know. Can't Nick quite, looks, can't quite tell here. He looks pretty, pretty relaxed. His mouth's closed. Yeah. Uh, could be possibly on the the chin. Yeah, Danny's Danny. coach is looking right at him right here. You can see him. Drop. Yeah. Nick taking it to the cage. Cage pressure here. Dropping down for that right. leg. Yeah. Good job, nice take Nick. Down. Nice whizzer yeah. by Danny. Danny with that underhook here. This is our second to last amateur fight. Nick. This is a really good amateur fight. Very. Danny looking to take, wow. Yeah, Danny looking to manhandle him. That was, that was Danny's turn. Going cross face. Nick doing a good job of fighting off that leg yep. and the hand. Yeah, that's Fighting a, off his left good side. Good thing, do not let getting Danny his, close yep. his legs. And getting his hips out there. Not letting him ride his hips so long. Danny doing a great job of staying on top. Nick trying to turn in. Danny with a, a bulldog. Yeah, but that's going to come out. And Nick's looking to take the single. But no, nope, nice he's going to wind up on the bottom. Here, Danny on top. In full mount. Looking for some ground and pound here. I love that Nick's not letting it go there. He's, he's active. Powerful shots by Danny. But Nick's staying very active on the ground to get out of it and yeah. make this competitive. Very good. Danny creeping his hand up along. Yep, Nick peeling it away again. Great work there by... Oh, good, <laughs> good hit from the back. Both fighters staying very composed. Yeah, no, like very composed and very active. You know, yeah, very. I love it. Active, explosive movements here. Nick should Real try and get that arm up yeah. around off of his head. Turn into Danny here. Yep. He wraps the leg. He's got really good hip movement. Nick. There we go. Pops his head there he out. goes. Going for that single again, but getting stuck on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if that, that's a good idea. It's to not helping him. He's just failed right back twice. Into a single leg. That's failed twice and put him in a bad spot. I'd like to see. Separation. 10 second. Yeah, I would like to see maybe uh, Nick go for some striking instead yeah. of ducking right into that single leg here. Yep. 
Good job by Nick. End of round number one. Yeah, well, you know, the over and under is uh, two and a half rounds, yeah. so. High pace, high pace. I think this will go to distance. These guys, they stay this active. They're both in great shape. These are three I, minute rounds? Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna gas. These guys are just too serious about it. They're in great shape, so. I don't see anybody dying out. Danny's hair is straight up. Looks like the king. You know, it's like that looks like a crown. Devin Powell in Nick Eldridge's corner here on yep. Nato Seven May. We've got Kyle Hill. Oh. I watched Kill Bill today. <laughs> the hotel. Remind me of Kyle Hill. All right, here we go. John English, get ready to start us off with round two. Muto Eldridge. And here we go. I'd like to see some more striking. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Nick throw some, uh, throw some punches here. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Maybe yeah. throw Danny off. Fake a double, go over with an overhand right. I think Devin probably told them, let's see some more kicks, you know, let's let's disengage a little bit yeah. more. Let's make it an MMA fight, you know. Yeah. And I would imagine he told them too, like, you know, the single's not working for you. When you get there, you get that position. Mm -hmm. Disengage and open up your hands. Yeah. Do some damage. Danny with a... Yeah, Danny, good job. Mabuto for the takedown. Ready to half guard. Danny almost blitzing in for that shot with that with the punches as well. Nick sneaking his left leg in to try to get some, some space. Go. He's got that knee in, he yeah. can shrimp out here. He's gonna try. Extend, make some space. He try to go for that under. Great under job hook. by Nick going for yep. that underhook here. Good job, trying to kick go. him away. Danny off, yeah, oh, going for a go. heel hook. Oh man, that's a tough spot if you don't get it. Wow. But good job, good job to use his legs. Oh, very good job there. Oh, what do we have there? What happened? I'm not sure. Might have been an up kick. Might have been a kick to the groin. Not sure what John English saw there. That might be a cut. No. Nope. No, I think. No, he's, he's warning Danny about something. Um, you know what? It might have been an elbow. He might have, on a punch, might have looked like an elbow as he was punching, oh. diving in. Look at He looks like he might have a cut on his head, too. No. I, I That's my guess. Can't quite tell. My guess is that he grazed him with an elbow, and even though it wasn't intentional, amateur no. fights, you can't use your elbows. Yep, no. Everything On else the looked, stand up here, Danny looking to take it back to the floor. Nick going right in for the guillotine. Yep. Danny doing a great job of getting his hips around the back so he can't yep. engage, so uh, Nick can't engage his hips. Now Nick's get the hips, but loses the guillotine. Watch the triangle here. Yeah. There we go. Well, a little bit slippery in the second round. Danny punishing. Nick fishing for that underhook. Danny riding the hips, going signal leg. I'm sure Nick wants to make him pay for it if he's going to come in. There you go. Danny kind of on top, dominating still. Nick's gonna have to pull something out Nick here. Nick looking for that arm bar. If I he know. gets that from the bottom, leg over his head, he can extend Danny's arm. It just seems like Danny's got too much pressure on him. He's kind of out wrestling him, right, Tiano? Yeah. I mean, he's nullifying that movement by just putting pressure on his head. He knows he can't. He can't really disengage too much. Yeah, no, I think Danny has control of his his arm. Yeah. Now he just lets go. Danny's fighting a great fight. Nick is too. But, you know, this is right now. The wrestling of Danny is taking nullifying. over. Yeah, and it's two rounds. Right now it's two rounds. You know, 10 seconds to go. It's going to be 2-0 Buto. Yeah, going into the third. Yeah. This could be our first uh, decision of the night. Yeah, these guys are very... Uh, Keeping a high pace here. Yeah, high pace, but they're both in such great shape. 
you know, nobody's going to guess. Nick's still keeping it busy, too. Yeah. You know, Nick was not, Nick was not gassing. Lively crowd here at Aura. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the uh, Fenway. Juliana, a couple of your boys are in the stands over there or on the floor. Yeah, no, they, yeah, no. I got a big crowd here. Shout out to Jake Risha, Steve, um, my friend Gabe, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Isaiah, Isaiah, the yeah. crew. All right, we're looking at round three. Uh, what do you think? Buto keeps doing what he's doing. Uh, Nick Eldridge has got to pull something out here. He's got to pull out some kind of funky sub. Yeah, no, I think. Or ooh, he's big overhand right by Nick. Firing. He's got to come out firing. Nice head kick. This is what I want to see from, yeah, from Nick. Yeah, he can't strikes. get taken down. Cannot get too close to Danny Buto here. is just smothering him. Not where Danny Nick with that Eldridge, side control. Not where Nick wants to be right now. Nope. Danny raining down shots here. Yeah, nothing really connecting right there. Trying but to move to the back. Nick, good job. He's still. There we go. I love the way Nick doesn't let his hips stay really dormant, you know, because yeah. as much as he can, he's trying to get those hips out. That's so important. Oh, we're looking at Anaconda. Yeah, uh, Dars. 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 Yeah. He's looking for it. If he can yep. tighten it up and get that underneath his elbow, he might have something yep. there. There it is. He's, he's got to hook it. the leg. He's going to look to walk a leg over. If he can, he's going to arch he, his hips. That he has be, that in. That, he can get the tap. Oh, See how tight man. that is. Nick just needs to keep I turning don't know. away. It looks like Nick might have. Looks like he might have tapped. Danny might say, Danny. No, he's still he's still moving. Wow. He's still that moving. Nick squeeze is not looks quick. like he's getting very tight. Danny can engage Nick. his hips right here. It could be bad. Excellent job by Nick to yes. keep moving. Move. Just Good move. Good job by Nick not to get caught in that. Oh, yeah. And in the third round, you know, they're super sweaty. Yeah. Um, but that look was locked in pretty good. Yeah, no, that looked tight. I could, but Nick didn't let him, you know, incorporate his hips into it, which is key to that. Uto riding out this round. Happy to just stay busy, lay on top, and make this the grueling match that it is, you know. Just out wrestled. Nick fighting back again, sneaking that left leg in so he can create some space from the hips. Looks like Nick might give him his back, which he does. Danny's looking to sink in the choke, but more importantly, just keep hip pressure on top of him right in front of Kevin McDonald and Chris and Missy Gild. Oh, Danny looking for that rear naked choke it's here. like a cross face right now. I don't think he has it under the chin. And Nick's smart enough to turn his face into him. Yep. We're just going to give him his back. Danny on the back again. Good job. Nick is still alive. But he's got to pull something out. Danny's a wet blanket right now. Yeah, it's no, Danny's doing a very good job at keeping control. Yep. Here comes a single, single leg. Good wrestling again. Heavy, heavy pressure here with the 10, ten second seconds. bell. Danny's going to ride this one out. And we're going first to our, fight of the night. Our first decision, unless the fight gets Danny stopped. Danny looking to finish it here. Uh, they, John English lets it go to the bell. I think rightfully so. Yeah. Let him, let him go out on his shield. And that was a great fight. Great seat. pressure by Danny. Yeah. and nothing, Great control. Nothing to be ashamed of by Nick. No, you Nick. Know, fighting like a warrior to get out the whole time. But Great Danny, scrambles by Nick. I too, love how he moved. He was moving his hips, staying busy. Yeah. Staying busy. Yeah. And then even in that third round, you know, he came out, tried to strike, but Danny. And very, very. King Buto remains. Three. Is you know. Is Danny from Rico MMA. Yeah, good test, you know. Like he set up on Nick. Nick was literally like dangerous the whole fight. You oh, don't yeah. keep that constant uh, top pressure on. Nick cute. What he did was out wrestling and everything, but 
control the pressure. He's going to go to the decision. Here we go. Nick Eldridge is ready. And Pete Simbor. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time tonight, two competitors make the judges earn their pay tonight. How about a round of applause for both these guys? I got 30-27. 30 20 yeah, 3-0. Yeah. Yeah. Unanimous. After three hard-fought rounds, we go to the scorecards. Judge Scott Mellon and Matt Collins score the fight 30-27. Bill McKinnon scores the fight 30-26. All for your winner. Yeah. Via unanimous decision, Danny Buto. Yeah. Somebody gave a 10 8 round, probably the third round, you think? Yeah. Yeah. You two address your audience tonight. A clean sweep shutout on all the cards. Tell us how you feel tonight. I feel great. I just want to thank all my sponsor sponsors. Thank you for supporting me. I would like to thank everybody out for coming out tonight. And that's about it. That's what we do. We work hard and we get wins. Yeah. Clean sweep tonight on the judges' scorecards. Danny Buteau.